My dad bought this car um, from a junkyard in 1970. He brought it home. He uh, split the cost of the car with my uncle, $1,000, so $500 each. By the time he got it home, realized it needed, probably needed a little more work than they anticipated. In about 1972, it ended up in a, a stage where he just couldn't finish it, didn't have the money. It sat in the garage for 43 years and never finished. So it had 7,890 miles on it when it became stalled. My dad passed from cancer in 2012. It sat in the garage still uh, for another year afterwards. So we went in 2013 and you know, my sister Kiki, Shell, her son Jay, we all pulled it out of, the, out of the garage and didn't know what we were gonna do with it other than we knew we had to eventually one day restore it. We took it to my father-in-law's garage. Six months later, her dad at 78. Called you up and, was... and he said, got the engine out. <laughs> and then Kyle's words were, okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> yep. It was never planned to be a restoration project that happened in his garage up there, but he took it upon himself to get it started. and. You know, we uh, we started it. We stared at it for a while and said, oh my God, this does not need paint. It needs a little bit more than that. And so we, you know, we embarked on a, a long, three and a half year journey to restore this. We did the entire restoration ourselves. Um, we've never been in a restoration project like this, um, but my father-in-law put you know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears into fiberglass and working the fiberglass. And we ended up replacing the whole nose because you know, my dad, when he started this project in his early 20s with three kids at home on an army budget, it was a makeshift type of restoration it started with at first. And so we had to undo a lot of work that was done in the early 70s. It was restored in a residential garage um, at my father-in-law's house. He painted the car, prepped the car. Um, we both worked on the electrical, the chassis, the drivetrain, the all numbers matching. So we finished the car in November 2016, completely restored back to factory original OEM. It's a driver. If my dad were alive today, he absolutely would have driven the car. We, uh, the only upgrade we put on it was power brakes because we want to make sure we can stop without two feet, like as hard <laughs> as we can press them. And, uh, but no power steering. Uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a driver. Uh, we drive as much as we can. So by the time we finished the restoration, her dad was yeah, two, 80. 83 yeah. or so. Sadly, Michelle's dad passed away last Tuesday. So the history of this car continues on with both our dads.